what's up guys Mike here so I just want to review some more tools here these tools are made in the USA I'm gonna get into them but right now make sure that you like comment subscribe if you want to if you want to let's not forget this is a free country this is America that I live in that we live in you don't have to all you gotta do is just sit there and enjoy your freedom let me talk to you about these tools though all right there's a channel lock 212 oil filter wrenches I go to these every single time I love these these are absolutely fantastic from a small car engine filter to like a larger v6 uh, I'm pretty sure you can even do v8s with these they get up there pretty big I would definitely say v6s for sure you know inline sixes whatever you know what I mean um, these are my absolutely go-to. Like every single time I'm going for something, I can rely on these to just get the job done, and I don't have to worry about it. I love them. I love these so much. Um, I have every single pair, and I have every single accessory. I have caps. Man, I got cap straps. I got those little claw things. I got filter wrenches. I've had one that were made in the USA. And these ones are pretty much the best ones I've ever had. Um, the cool thing about these, though, let's see if it'll pick it up. There we go. So these are actually made to grip but not puncture. They purposely made them like that. So yeah, these are 212s. That's the one. Now, if you got a diesel truck like 802, Bro, if you got that diesel, bro, you need the 215s. 215s are guaranteed to get the job done, and you're gonna absolutely you're gonna use them. You like, god damn, I just found an oil filter wrench for life. I love these. I mean, I cannot speak enough about how much I love these. I use them; it just feels good. I feel like screaming eagles, and I just feel so much freedom when I use these. I can't even express them. So much freedom. Literally, you got to get these. I'm not even shitting you. They're like 20 bucks on Amazon. I'll provide the link in the description so you can just click it. And when you click it, you give me like a dollar or two. I, don't, I think it's only like a dollar if that. But basically, it's just a direct link so you can just click it, buy it. You know, do your thing. You don't have to. But it helps me out a lot. These these are sick. Uh, these ones right here for like, you know, small cars to midsize cars. If you have like a big diesel oil filter, you're going to want the 215s. Now, the ones that I really am about to get are the ones at an angle. They take the, like, this is all straight, and they take the head and they bend it at an angle. So that way you can get up in there. And I'm getting those ones next. But these are absolutely a must. If you get these, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. You'll be like, damn, I wish I had these sooner. All right. So talking about like another problem I've always had working on cars would be um, like all these push pans and all this other shit. Now when I first started off, I used everything. I used the picks. I used the screwdrivers. I used multiple tools off the tool truck. I like literally, I have so many things and I could never find anything that worked like how I wanted it to work. That's the problem that I'm having that is I wanted to work but it's not doing what I wanted to do. So I found these from an auto body uh, friend of mine and he's like, dude, you gotta get this. He's like, this is the best thing to get. So I'm about to buy two more of these. It, this one is called SK, made in the USA. Also, something about SK's grip, like when you're using them, god damn. This one is called 6648 I'm going to provide the link on Amazon you do get it in two days with free shipping but honestly you can find it better priced elsewhere 20 bucks for this is I think too much but with the two day free shipping yeah it makes it worth it but you can find these for about 12 bucks you should be able to not it's not always that easy so 20 bucks just like ah, I'll just take it now and just not fucking deal with looking around and waiting for a week and a half to get the fucking thing. You just get two days. That's kind of why I'm always on Amazon, but yeah, this is absolutely perfect. So you know those stupid Christmas tree ones? On the end here. The fuck? This little thing right here is perfect. I use this thing all the time. Um, also this, this is exactly... 
Like, you know, like when you're working on like underneath the car and, um, it's really hard to explain to people that don't like, don't have to sit there underneath the car with all the dirt and shit. And you're trying to get in there and they have those stupid, um, uh, skid plates that are plastic. They have these little push pins. Well, that shit fills up with dirt and you're just sitting there thinking like, I wish they made a tool that was perfect for this. They do. It's this. This is recommended by an auto body person. And ever since I bought them, I'm going to buy more of them. I might even drill a hole like right here through there and put like a little lanyard on it. But I'm worried about this part stabbing me. So what he does is he drilled a hole through here. He's an auto body too, but you know. So he drilled a hole through this, right through there, put a lanyard, and then he cupped this off with like a little um, silicone cup thing. So it doesn't like stab him in the hand. But yeah, this is perfect. So here's the angle that it's at. So basically, it's at this perfect angle. Everything is perfect about this thing. It's the perfect width. And then when you use it, it just... Dude, I can't even tell you how much like faster and simpler using this tool is. And like... This is why you gotta buy Made in USA. Stop sponsoring tool trucks and shit for free shitty tools. Ah, I'm just joking. So, here we go. No, 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 no. We'll save that for last, because I already know. I already know how the internet is, so we're gonna save the best for last. So, first off, fuck Milwaukee and fuck Home Depot. So, we're just gonna get into it. Now these picks, I've had, fuck dude, I've had so many picks. I lost my snap on and I didn't lose it, but I'm not going to talk about it because it's going to piss me off. But, so these are my picks. Now, <laughs> I was going to say, as you can see, they're very well used, but like fucking shining, glistering. Like brand new out of the box. Yeah, as you can see, they're well used. You know, for all the shit people talk, I actually use my tools a lot. Um, dude, these are sick. These are called Yuleman. I'm going to try to find them on my Amazon provider link. These things are sick, dude. You got to get these. So basically, these these things are cheap. Like, these things are, like, very affordable. And they're actually, they kind of remind me of the Snap-on ones that I had. Um, like, not this part, but this part. Like, especially this part. It seems very exactly like the same thing, but I use these fucking things all the time. Like little O-rings, all that bullshit. <laughs> all that bullshit. This is actually the one... Actually, to be honest with you, it's just so we're honest. This is the three that I use all the time. I think I fucking... I think I broke this one. Yeah, nope, still holding strong. Made in the USA. Now let's get to the last one. Because I know it's coming. Yulman picks. Amazing quality, durability, everything. I fucking love these things. They like I've never spent so less money of something made in the USA and it's just like man, these things are tough as fucking nails. But let's get to it. Cause I already know the trolls are coming on this one. People know how I feel about this. Now, you see, people talk shit about this one. <sighs> it's a 10 minute video, I ain't editing it. Now, SK is not paying me, by the way. I'm doing the shit out of the freedom of my heart. So, like I said, my tools are used. Uh, yeah, this motherfucker's been dropped a lot. Uh, that's funny, I say like my tools are always used, but I'm looking at them on camera, I'm like, you know, that's not the worst I've ever seen. I just take care of my shit, I know it sounds weird, but yeah, this is all made in the USA, man. So, what I really like about this so much is for one, when you're working on a hair bag, it's like an all-in-one tool, because I know you forget shit. Anything, like just using this thing, just having this in your pocket... First off, this is the best pry tool you'll ever use in your life. It never has broke on me. Now, I'm not going to say I did. I've never scratched the dash or a steering wheel. Alright, listen. Okay. Steering wheels are expensive, first and foremost. Don't scratch them. And if you're, this thing does not bend, 
This is like a little mini pry bar. I shit you not. This is a little mini pry bar. Gone troll away. Don't troll me. I really don't want to be trolled. I ain't got time for that shit. Um, yeah, this is literally like a little mini pry bar. What the fuck is it? That's what I love about this thing is it doesn't give in. And then, like, if you forgot your screwdriver, you don't want to. You can just be like, bloop. Now, I know some people are against these, but until you start using them for, like, a whole day, and the next day you start using them again, you'll realize those little... Oh, fuck, I have one around here somewhere, but... I know I have one in my toolbox, but... <clears throat> those little ones that you get off the tool truck, yeah. Yeah, I quit using those a long time ago, ever since I started using this one. It's the shit. And then, pry bar, flathead, perfect for everything. Now this shit will scratch a steering wheel. Ask me how I know. Ask me. Ask me. Yeah, this will scratch the fuck out of a steering wheel. But no, this is this is one hundred percent need to get. I think that's another tool too. I've actually used that. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I've used that like once, but but yeah, this is this is amazing. So this is what I use on every day. So, yeah, these are the tools that I use every single day. Made in the USA. They're better. They just they make your day so much better. Especially with the push pins, the headliners, and all that bullshit. Um, the channel locks are amazing. If you have a diesel truck like Diesel Crew 802, you're going to want to get the 215s. And if, as soon as you start using them, you're going to be like, God damn, I love these things. But the next ones I'm going to get are actually going to be 212s angled. Uh, the angled ones are perfect for those. Oh, man, I got to get those. And then, yeah, this is it. It's a 12-minute video. It's way too long. But if you're watching until this point, man, you better give it a like. Or don't. I mean, do what you want to America.